crossing Tantanga Creek. Oh. Yeah, she's cold. Today we're gonna go and check out some new water. We're gonna go up to Haynes Hut, go for a bit of a trot, fish the Murrumbidgee. Oh my God. <laughs> See what happens, you know. I'd put together some nicer words right now, but I'm in a bit of a situation. I'm just gonna shuffle out of here real quick. <laughs> hey, whiz. We've got about six and a half Ks ahead of us. Should be nice to get off the beaten track a little bit. How good's Cozzy? That is a good sign. Very good sign. Currently at Payne's Hut. Um, never been here before. It's a nice spot. And it is very, very clean, I must admit. Good spot here. Let's see if we can get some tips from last year. Some words of wisdom, if you will. Fly fishing was being productive despite the coloured water. That's almost the same condition to have it on here. Um, and it says it's been productive, so that's good. Dedicated to uh, the use of fishermen, bushwalkers, and all those who enjoy the mountains. And I tick one of those boxes today. We've got a nine foot six weight we've brought in today. Yeah, it's a nice fast action. I like it for accuracy and punching through wind. The water is up and it is slightly dirty, which gives me the indication well, there's going to be quite a bit of food in the water, getting dislodged from rocks, a couple of nymphs moving around. Um, because it's hot and we saw a bunch of hoppers in, hoppers moving around on the track in, start nice and broad with a big hopper dropper and hone in if they're not taking that. Nice little green uh, chubby Chernobyl. To that hopper, I'm going to attach a bit of 4X tippet, 3X to the hopper, 4X off the hopper. And I'm just going to put on a classic hair's ear uh, nymph and I reckon that's a pretty deadly setup and I'm pretty keen to hit the water so let's get to it. Boy, a lot smaller than I thought it was. I am keen as. Definitely holding in the slower stuff. In this pool at least. Beautifully conditioned rainbow. Love it. There's one, that's a better one. That's a really good fish. That is a solid fish. Yeah, really good brown. Oh, it's a good rainbow actually. Really good fish. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That's a solid one. Better than what we've had up to this point. Oh yes. That is a gorgeous fish man. Give him away. Pound and a quarter. Every bit of that too. <laughs> Woo! That was awesome fun. And he was fat. He was an he was a footy. That was like grand final premiership footy status. Let's get it. Fly of choice today, what's been getting munched most is a size 14 uh, hand. Uh, it's got a little and uh, speed for this uh, slightly faster water. It's been a go to setup for me this season. It's working pretty well today, I'd say. Yeah, there's one. There's a really good one. That's better. Yeah, look at him. Woohoo! Oh, that's a solid rainbow. Woo 
Oh, jumper. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Pinned in the corner. Cracking hen bow. You love to see it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that was sick. Yes. Oh, 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 oh my god, that is huge. Giant spawner, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, good one. Be calm, be cool, Pat. You take me downstream. Coming up. Oh, careful. <laughs> yes, dude. Woo! That's the biggest one I caught this season for sure, man. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> Feels big. Two and three quarters. You should be bigger than that. I don't care though, that's a tank. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I said it. I said it, big brown right there. Just taking a slight break after that monstrosity of a fish. We've only barely made it past the hut, as you can see. We've fished maybe three or four long pools and they're all very similar and char characteristic um, and further up they are as well. So I've just stopped, we're gonna have a bite to eat um, and maybe skip up some skip up some water to try and find some new scenery, a bit of a, a, bit of a change of landscape and um, hopefully get onto some more fish. Original's just, mm, it doesn't cut it. Beef's not bad, but Chicken slaps. That cast right there is called the Gym of Radio. A little bit of cut thrown in him. Orange under the gills there. That fly has handled about 20 odd fish today. It's only just given up. And that fly is going straight to the pool room. started to slow up the clouds come across a little bit it's turned off for a little bit so we're gonna we're gonna hike back out and try a different spot I don't want to get in because I don't know if it's over my head. Oh, look at him! Look at him. Oh, close. Come on, bud. I don't know if it's too deep or not. I don't know. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Yep, sweet. Oh, my God, it's a good one. This might even just top the one we got before somehow. No, it's overhead. Come on, bud. Oh, look at the size of him. He 
is not done. He is not done. My arm is burning, guys. Holy crap. This is a proper fish. This is a... <laughs> I've brought this stuff so hard. Come on. He's pinned really well. This might be it here. Come up. This might be it here, Dane. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that! Man! What are we? Two and three quarters. I will take that any day of the week. <laughs> Have a look at this thing. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, what a pretty, pretty fish. Dude, what the heck? That is, I don't, the long and short of it is I have no words. <laughs> Holy moly. Wait, dude. <laughs> what? I literally just said that is the big brown zone and then another big brown ate my fly. This is so sick. We're bound to have one of them today. Losing a good fish. Do it again! Why did I do it? You're kidding me. What? I've never seen that many giants stacked up in one spot, man. This is insane. I don't know what to say anymore. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. What the heck is going on with this pool, man? <laughs> oh, yes! Get in there, man! Oh, he's a solid one. Come on. <laughs> Don't. Oh, he's gone. He took the nymph with him. That was my, that was my nymph that was going to the pool room as well. There was two of them. That's all right. It can live in Brown Town where it belongs. That might be a sign to just leave that one. Let's just sleep on it. Splash upstream and find some more big fish because this day is just insane.
countless, I don't know how many, you have to run it back. Um, a great way to finish up a ripping day. A solid bow. Just so good. You've got to bring yourself back to earth on a, on a, once you've had a big day. On the fly rod, uh, I haven't had any action in the first five seconds of fishing this and I'm very disappointed. <laughs> so what an end to a, an absolutely fantastic day. One for the books for this season for sure, without a doubt. Um, it's been an absolute blast. Keen to get back up in the high country very soon, do some more, because this is, this is the time of year, right now. What a cracker. Cheers, guys.